Now to that second shooting just a couple of hours earlier, a student from West Jeff High School is recovering in the hospital after being shot on the last day of school. This happened around the time students were supposed to be dismissed after a half day of classes. Meg Ferris, she's been covering this story for us in Harvey all day. Joining us now live, give us some more details, Meg, and give us parents' reaction. Absolutely, Sharice. Now we're told that that student is 18 years old and that he is suffering from non-fatal injuries. Now it was the last day of school, as you mentioned, but that was just for underclassmen. The seniors weren't here. They had already finished for the year. Now let me just show you how closely uh, the in proximity to the school where the shooting happened. It just happened right across the street here in this parking lot at this what looks like a closed down nursing home. Now police have not told us yet if the gunman was a student or not. My son called and told me that there was a fight outside and a guy got shot. They say he went down and then they took all the kids inside the school and put them in a gym and locked down the school. Parents rushed to West Jefferson High School in Harvey Thursday after getting calls from their teens that there had been a shooting. Jefferson Parish sheriffs say the shooting happened in a parking lot across the street from the school at a business that appears to be closed on 8th and Marion Streets. A parent shared this cell phone video of the scene after the shooting. It appears that people are gathering around the teen who was shot and is still lying on the concrete of the parking lot. We are diligently working to find the shooter in this case. Uh, and, you know, School's been completely cooperative. The most important thing is the safety of the students. Uh, no other students were harmed, and they were able to get everybody off campus in an orderly manner. The carpool line was long, with parents anxious to get their teens who alerted them by phone. Parents came early because their kids called them about the shooting. But then the school was locked down, so they didn't allow any parents to get those kids, and they was putting kids on buses, but still not allowing parents to get their kids. What did your nephew say? Uh, he is scared because uh, uh, he only uh, heard the shot, but I don't know. The rest. And he said, come get me quick? Yes. Yeah. yeah, he waiting for me. Yeah. Never got a call from the parents, from the school, don't know what's going on. I had to find out from here or say. Neighbors say the violence among the more than 1,400 students is unusual. I live across the street from the high school, been here 21 years. Nothing like that. We've never had any trouble. These children are very respectful. Every year for the last day of school, we do put additional security around the campuses because, you know, to try to avoid something like this happening. And it was a very calm dismissal after all that with uh, parents picking up their children. Now, let me read a part of the statement that JP School sent to us. During the time of the shooting, the school was on lockdown immediately and following all district safety protocols. After the school received clearance to start dismissal, students were released for dismissal. And they're urging anyone with information to please call JPSO with anything you may know or may have heard. 